Well, folks, this has been an adventure because I'll tell you what happened here. I show, I show up, I get the numbers of the gate that we had to go through an act of Congress. As a matter, I finally got the gate number, finally got the combination, but the combination was wrong. It was wrong. I tried everything to get into this locker. Eventually, I, I called the gate number, thinking I'd get the local person. Didn't get the local person. The people out in Arizona or California, wherever they are. It turned out she gave me a, a combination. But at that point, I was at a weird angle. I was already outside the gate. I had to back the trailer up in someone's driveway. Just and it almost got stuck. Got out. Came to the gate. Tried the combination. And glory to the heights above. It opened with their combination. So now let's go in and let's see. This is a locker I'm not too hopeful for, but we'll find out and see. This is what the locker looked like originally. In fact, if you look over there in that picture there. But now we're gonna see uh, what we got here. Okay, there better be gold in here. Okay, if we got gold, it's pretty well hidden. We'll find out. This, like so many of my $10 lockers, is, got, is costing me $20. So let's find out what happens. Well, so far, I found a pair of glasses I could always use. Keys, so I don't know what. And Yosemite Sam, so he's gonna be a fine. And I got a bunch of little these, but they're missing lids and they're in the other box somewhere. But let me just show you what it looks like so far. We got some purses. Hopefully, there's a lot, lot of trash in here, and that's what you're hoping for. Something that is hidden among the trash. But this gives you a look as where we are so far. And uh, I'm gonna have to scrounge around for some containers or something. But we're gonna get to it, or die in the attempt. Also, forgot to mention this tire. My wife saw the tire, she said, oh, that's a ball tire you got No, that's, this tire is actually pretty good. So that's good. This locker offers, offers a lot of different things. Look, that's the first time I've ever had a frog in there. And I also got some fire ants over there. I uh, saw some lizards in here too, so. Uh, we don't know what we'll find here. And there's another, that 10 cents. That's my second dime I found. Which basically means now, I'll need $19.80 to break even. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, sometimes the fines are kind of unusual. I might be able to use this. I believe it is my color. Well, this is nice. How about that, huh? And I believe these are more items I can make money on. It's a nice pair of shoes for a kid. And a hat that says, bite me. Looks like somebody bid, but it's a Tabasco. So these, anything with Louisiana tourists he always sells good online. Well, I think it's official. I believe I'm the king. I'm King Doc of the storage lockers. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'm certainly the king of the $20 lockers, I hope. And here's another find. We got the, we got the Mr. and the Mrs. Mickey and Minnie stuffed animals, stuffed dolls. These uh, good, good should sell, $10, $15 a piece. I'm getting there. So what exactly do you want? Hi, lots of sort of <laughs> Okay, well, what can I do for you? Well, you'll see that picture of that and right there. Right, 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 you mean right there? Yeah, that's a phone call, Bob. That's, that's, uh, you know who that is? Yeah. Oh, that's all I gotta go find him. That's, uh, I think that's Dracula. That, 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 anyway, that's a Funko Pop. That's gonna go to um, Jose in Virginia. I'm gonna put an all points bulletin for him. I gotta go. <laughs> you're not really a police officer. You can't do that. Oh, you're just an actor. You're just with that. You're with, uh, you're with Lucas Goody, huh? Yeah, he don't like me. I, I, I'm better than him. <laughs> you guys don't get along. I gotta go. Bye. I hope he, I hope I don't see him and Lucas together. They don't get along. Well, folks, we want to thank William of Tyler, Texas. Tyler is interested in making money, or at least 
making his money count for him. Look what he got. He got this very rare special Masters of the Universe Stinkor. Released at the 2018 Summer Convention. So congratulations on that. This is uh, has a good value and it's gone up tremendously. So congratulations on that order. What are you doing? Oh, my teeth. I have trouble with my teeth. <laughs> Your teeth. You got teeth? Oh well, yeah, I got teeth. You got teeth. You got teeth. Well, yeah, I got teeth right there. Let me see. That's it right there. Oh, oh. You need to. You need to go to the dentist more. Well, thank you. So do you. So why don't you show us your teeth? Well, I'd rather not. <laughs> anyway, we well, want to. What? What is that? What are you doing? I just want to thank. Well, Braley, she got this. It's a Frisk underrated. I don't know why it's underrated. I've never heard of it. But anyway, congratulations for that, Braley. Okay, the Braley got that. Okay, and then we also have to thank Natalie. Natalie, what did Natalie get? Did she get... <laughs> no, <laughs> stop that. You're, you're looking... It, 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 it just sounds weird. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. But anyway, she got these um, little facial thing, I think. It's what it was. It's Skin Solution Cleaning Systems. You know, you could use that. Well, I don't have to be pretty. <laughs> and last but not least is down there on the floor. Down there, that's her feet. Well, no, let me get that. Oh, okay. Here's the note. And it's uh, for April. April in West Virginia. She got this little guy here. I'm, I don't remember what it was. Looks like a sound box. It looks, yeah, it's, it probably is. But anyway, that's that. That's what it looks like right over there. Right there. Oh, yeah, well, that explains it. You really need to repair it better. Yeah, well, thank you. Anyway, thank you for the order, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and like it every time. They know that. No, they don't. <laughs> yes, they do. No, they don't. No, all right, I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, uh, go get your teeth clean. Well, folks, I'd be hard-pressed if I didn't visit the barn once in a while. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. And, and let me show you some of the things that I found at the barn. And maybe you'll like it and everything like that. So just take a look and see what you think. Well, if you like chairs, we've got a bright yellow one. Several wooden ones there. Take a look at some of the dolls there. This is all in the center section. Let's take a look at more, more beautiful glassware. This is all in the center section. If you haven't been here at Becky's Barn, you are at an extreme disadvantage. Nice. Becky's has long been earmarked for guests of the beautiful furniture it has. This is an example right here of this beautiful chest of drawers. It's a 150 vendor 26. By the time you see this video, it may not be here, but it still may. Because no matter what, you just if you don't have it, you just might get the blues. I like this. This is unique. That's the one thing about the barn here. You find some very unique, you're not gonna get this stuff at Walmart or anything like that, Home Depot. This is all original. Again, another beautiful piece of furniture. <clears throat> this was the craft table, $50. It opens up. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> thank goodness, it's, oh, thank goodness it's not breakable. <laughs> Okay, good. There's a mirror and I didn't break it, so that's good. The mirror's still good. Woo! I was afraid these guys would probably tell on me. I'd, get, I'd be busted. And here's the one I want. This belongs in my booth. Got some new wicker furniture. That's a pretty plant. I believe that's real. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it's not real. 
Take it from a man who doesn't know a plastic plant from a real plant. I, I know I spent over a year and a half watering the plastic plant, feeling that good about it because I knew that it looked like it wasn't going to die. It looked healthy. But that's the way it goes. <laughs> Even the small items have tremendous interest here at the barn. Interesting pineapple shot glasses. $15. They got two of them. One for the, the Mr. and the Mrs. I'm not sure, but I believe I might know him. He's the one that's been beating his drum. <laughs> or not. Well, these are pretty neat. There's Mr. This Robot. This is not a dream. This is the chair and the lamp. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Didn't want to take your chair. Of course, these baseball players are in my booth, as you can tell. Baseball players, Star Wars, Star Trek, yo-yos, even the Infinity Gauntlet is here. It's the Red Sox, Kurt Schilling, not to mention Ryan Newman, and all the other Sasha Banks. This is Larry Burns. It's all about the game. Beautiful day outside. Let's check in the inside. Let's see what GameStop has, if they have anything for us this morning. And as we walk into the store, we find a lot of things that make us laugh and smile. But especially these, uh, <clears throat> even the stuffed animals here that are really marketable. And uh, they were a good price. But of course, I wasn't, wasn't interested in those. Video games are always something to keep your eye on too. But again, once again, I'm looking at particular certain items. And there they are. The newest Funko Pops that come out. It's important to be able to see what's current and what's new. And that way, when the price drops down on it, you're able to move on them. Also, too, at the same time, too. Sometimes you've got to... I've actually had a case where I've actually paid a, a good price because I knew it was going to go up. And sure enough, you know, I might have spent $12 for one thing, but before I knew it, it was worth $25 and $35, and it was hard to get. So you always want to keep your eye on what's current and what's new because these big corporations, they've got to move their merchandise. they got to get it moved. In which case, when they do, we take advantage of that. But in the meantime, keep your eye on certain choice ones, as I saw right there with the Star Wars, pink Star Wars because of the um, cancer uh, cancer things that they they do promotion on. And uh, there's always a lot to look at, and especially the Infinity Wars. The What If series is, is the new thing that's been going for some time. But then I always check the other games too, not just the Funko Pops because I've bought little action figures too at a really good price. You want to take advantage of the discounts and the prices that are there, especially if they have it on sale. And on this certain day, that was my daughter called me. She said everything's fifty percent off, so I jumped on it.
Well, hello! Whoa, 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 I'm Marco. Marco, Marco, the, the, mag, the magic, I, I'm, I'm the one that helped Leon learn all his tricks, and I'm going to show you how to do a trick right now. So, watch this. You see this coin? It's a green coin. It, it'll disappear. How will I make it disappear? I will use the Marco Madness. Ooh, yeah. You just watch it see. See, I put it in my hand like so, okay? And I put it in my hand like so. And I put it right now. The Marco Madness goes. <gasps> Which way? This? No. This? No. It's both there. They gone. Where did it go? Marco doesn't know. But Marco does know. Because where is it? It's right here, you see. When Marco does his illusions, he takes the coin, he puts it on the back of his hand like this. And then, you see, when he holds his hand up, he don't have no coin. And then he has a coin. How does he have the coin? He moves his hand back and forth. He moves it over here. Ooh, Marco. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that for you. And I got to go. Thank you for watching, Marco.